All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you could take your seats, please. If you could all take your seats. Good morning, and welcome to AUSA's Institute of Land Warfare Global Force and Symposium. I'm Michael Scanlon, Senior Director of Meetings for AUSA, and it is my pl and General Ham is our host for this symposium. Before we get started, to present the colors this morning is the Lee New Century JROTC Color Guard. Let's have a round of applause for this fine young American. Please be seated. Um, and now we have a special message from one of uh, the major participants in this symposium, the city of Huntsville. If you'll roll the tape, please. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2018 Global Force Symposium. I'm Sam Torrey, the chapter president for the Redstone Huntsville chapter. In addition to the many professional sessions you're going to experience this week, as well as a great exhibit hall floor, the chapter is also sponsoring several social events. On Monday night, our young professionals will have a gathering down at the local 805 campus. On Tuesday night, the Rocket City Bash. Our chapter is going to sponsor you all to have a great meal, have great music, and spend some time with 800 of your closest friends, all underneath their Saturn V rocket. On Wednesday, we'll conclude with the Our Community Salutes Luncheon. That's going to honor JROTC, ROTC, as well as future soldiers that are going into the Army and beginning their career. So once again, welcome to Huntsville. I look forward to seeing you out there. I want to welcome you to the Global Force Symposium held here in Huntsville for years and years. 
We are especially proud of our Army heritage here, and we're especially proud to have AUSA here, the voice of the U.S. Army. While you're here, have a great time. Enjoy yourself, and I hope you do a lot of business here. And one of the most important things is spend a lot of money. Hi, I'm Paul Finley, Mayor in the City of Madison, and on behalf of our City Council and our citizens in Madison, we welcome you to this year's AUSA Global Symposium. I know last year there were almost 7,000 attendees, and this year sounds like it's the same, about half of which of you come from out of town. Let's first talk about those who live here, who recognize the strong quality of life that we have, the short commute to work, great schools, and so many activities that we do. We don't take that for granted. And we certainly wish when your time comes, come on to our community and make this the place where you live too. If you're from out of town, I echo what Mayor Battle said. We welcome you not only to have a good time and enjoy everything we have to offer, but spend your money here too. One of the things you'll find is in your hotel room or most of those is a book called Excursions, which is cliff notes to making sure you can enjoy our community in the best possible way. So again, thanks to each and every one of you for the difference you're making for our warfighter, and we hope you have a great and wonderful week at the AUSA Symposium. Hello, I'm Judy Viles, President and CEO of the Huntsville-Madison County Convention and Visitors Bureau. On behalf of the 15,000 hospitality employees, we want to welcome you to our city. We want you to get out and enjoy yourself, experience our city. We have so much to offer. So enjoy yourself while you're here in Huntsville, and thanks so much for being here. On behalf of the more than 350,000 people that choose to live, work, play, and raise their family right here in Madison County, I want to welcome you to our community. We're excited to once again host the 2018 AUSA Global Force Symposium and Expo. I hope you have time to enjoy all our community has to offer. For more than 50 years, Team Redstone has accepted the challenge and has led the way in developing new technologies to serve our warfighter and support the United States Army. The men and women who support that mission, both at Redstone and our local contractors, we are proud of the role they play in our nation's defense and are proud to welcome you to Madison County, Alabama. I am, you are, we are Army Strong. Have a great week. Thank you. Makes us feel right at home. Uh, before General Ham uh, comes up to the microphone, I have a few announcements. I'll try to run through this pretty quickly. Uh, your badge is our way of keeping good order. Uh, uh, due to heightened security measures, you will not be allowed to enter the exhibit halls or uh, the auditorium here unless you're wearing your badge. If you leave it in your hotel room or you misplace it, uh, our staff is more than happy to print you a new one to let you get around. The proceedings are linked to the slides from the presentations uh, will be available uh, on the day following the presentations on the AUSA website under past events. Video of the presentations will be available on the AUSA website uh, the next, uh, the week following this symposium. Questions cards. Okay, so there are question cards out in the lobby and uh, Alex Brody, the deputy director, and I will be working the crowd and wandering around giving you cards and, and collecting them for the, the speakers and the panels. In addition, we have a very special Q&A session coming up here this morning, and we've placed microphones in the center aisle. So I urge you to not be shy. Uh, it, it's an important part of this particular symposium that we get some dialogue going between the undersecretary and the vice and uh, you members of the audience. So uh, we will also be managing the microphones. Uh, we normally have press at our symposium, so I'll set the ground rules. We are on the record and for attribution. Um, how many of you are members of AUSA? I can see. Well, that's pretty good, but not nearly good enough. We really need your help, and we've taken pictures of everybody who didn't raise their hands, <laughs> so we know who you are. Please visit our membership booth uh, out at registration. Uh, the association is only as strong as its members, and we need your help. So I encourage you to, uh, to join. 
Uh, the internet access is provided by our sponsor, Airbus. Thank you so much, Airbus. It's throughout the building. To access the Wi-Fi on your personal device, please select AUSA Global Force and then click Connect. There we go. Um, I would like particularly to thank all the companies that are exhibiting with us here in Huntsville at the Global Force Symposium and Exposition. It's a, it's a marvelous collection of America's industrial and defense might and you never know what you're going to learn. Not all the, teach, not all the learning takes place uh, in here. So I urge you to visit uh, as much as possible uh, our, exhibit, our fine exhibiting companies and learn what they can do for the U.S. Army. <coughs> um, cash and carry lunch is available in the arena across the way, and it's also available in a buffet lunch uh, across the street in the embassy suites. I will ask you at this point to ensure that all your pagers have been silenced and set to vibrate. Um, and it is now my pleasure to introduce the President of the Association of the United States Army, General Carter F. Hamm. Well, thanks very much, Michael, and, and good morning to all. This is uh, indeed a, a great morning, exciting morning. Uh, those of you who have been to Global Force uh, Symposium and Exhibition in previous years might notice the crowd is a bit larger this year. I wonder why that might be. So we'll see. In addition to those that Michael acknowledged, a special thanks to Lockheed Martin for our uh, coffee service. I hope you enjoyed that and everybody's caffeinated. And the thing that Michael didn't point out, there are restrooms on either side of this and behind. So if you need those, uh, certainly take uh, advantage of uh, of those as well. And just to echo what Michael said, uh, this symposium, any of the AUSA events that, that we host simply are not possible without our life members, our individual members, and our, and our uh, corporate partners both at the national and community level. So thank you very, very much for your continued support in enabling AUSA uh, to be a voice for the Army and to support soldiers. We're here in, in Huntsville and very, very glad uh, to be to be back in, in Huntsville. I'll confess to you that I was a little nervous on Friday. I was kind of wondering if there was going to be any money. And if there wasn't going to be any money, then this symposium wasn't going to happen. And that made me kind of nervous. But uh, thanks to many of the folks that are uh, seated up, up front, uh, all of that goodness passed. And, and here we are in, in Huntsville once again uh, for, uh, uh, for a very, very great event. A special thanks to Mayor Finley and, and Mayor Battle for, for their host and all that they, uh, that they do for us. Uh, we've got a, a number of distinguished uh, uh, presenters and guests joining us uh, here this morning, and, and beginning with uh, Secretary Esper, the uh, Secretary of the Army, who we will hear from soon, the Under Secretary of the Army, Secretary McCarthy, uh, General McConville, the Vice Chief of Staff of the, of the Army, uh, so the senior Army leadership is here. Congressman Brooks from Alabama, thank you, sir, for carving time out of, out of a bit. What I know, people think that you're on recess, but some of us know that being on recess is, doesn't mean you're not working. That's not, that's, it's not like third grade recess. It's a little bit different than that. But thank you for carving some time out to, to come with us. And we're especially uh, privileged this morning to have a, a, a large contingent of, of congressional staffers who have come and uh, joined us here this morning um, most notably, Mr. Jim Hickey from the Senate Armed Services Committee, uh, Ms. Jen Stewart, and Mr. Paul Arcangeli from the House Armed Services Committee, uh, and the rest of the, the staff delegation. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for, for, uh, for joining us. It is really important. Mr. Secretary, I'm, I'm a little concerned. I'm not sure that there's much work getting done in the Army today. If you look, uh, look to your left, uh, at, you know, General Perna, General Abrams, General Brown, General Townsend uh, are, are all assembled here. So uh, the, the Army commands are running free and loose this morning. We'll, we'll see how that, uh, how that all plays out. But we, uh, gentlemen, we are, we are absolutely thrilled that, uh, that you are here. You know, one of the things we like about coming back to Huntsville is the great community support that we enjoy here. You heard from the two mayors and from, from other community leaders. This is a very special place and we are very, very thankful uh, to have the opportunity to serve here. I'd like to just uh, give a, a public shout out to Sam Torrey and the great AUSA Redstone Huntsville chapter 
which has been so essential in putting this event on for, for many, many years. Uh, they, they were many of the folks that you saw at the, at, at the entrance hallway doing lots of, lots of uh, tasks to get this thing going. And it's no surprise to any of us that the Redstone Huntsville chapter is a perennial uh, best chapter candidate and, and often a frequent winner uh, for our best chapter awards. So thank you, Sam, and, and all the members of AOSA's chapter for your support. The theme for this year's Global Force Symposium and Exhibition is Modernizing and Equipping America's Army for Today and Tomorrow. It's a timely subject. I think it's a relevant subject. And given your participation here, you also recognize this, this importance, its importance. The agenda that the team has put together simply would not have been possible without the extraordinarily close cooperation uh, with the Army's and, uh, and most senior leaders. So Secretary Esper, Secretary McCarthy, General McConville, Sergeant Major of the Army, Dan Daly, and uh, so many others uh, that, that put together this agen agenda for us. And General Perna, to you and your team as the, as the host command for, uh, once again, for the Global Force Symposium and Exhibition. Thank you, Gus, uh, for making this all very, very possible. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a great team effort, and we're proud to be, uh, be part of it. We have a rich and robust agenda, all focused on the future of America's Army. And it's a unique opportunity, I think, for all who, who share in that vision of the future to, to express their ideas and address issues and questions that you may have. have. And, and as Michael Scanlon indicated, uh, what the richness of this forum is the dialogue that occurs between you and the speakers. So please participate uh, in that as well. Uh, while you're here, in addition to the uh, many events that will occur in this room, uh, we want you to take advantage of the extended time that we've set up on the, in the agenda to visit the exhibitors on the exhibit hall floor uh, in both places and outdoors where, where they are. We've specifically allocated time on the agenda that does not conflict with time in this room so that you have time uh, to learn and visit with those exhibitors. They tell an important part of the Army story, and they're an integral part of the professional development opportunities that we choose to, to offer here at the Global Force Symposium and Exhibition. In addition to the main theme of, of this year's symposium, you'll see another, uh, some other great initiatives that are interspersed and intermixed with the, with the agenda. There'll be an ROTC panel uh, on Wednesday, which precedes the ROTC luncheon, uh, to discuss the, 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 the development of the next cohort of Army leaders. There's a young professionals reception, as Sam Torrey mentioned. A senior non-commissioned officer panel led by Sergeant Major of the Army retired Ken Preston. And the always popular Innovators Corner and Warriors Corner presentations that I encourage you to take advantage of. Um, because we, the Surgeon General reminds us always to be conscious of, of fitness, don't forget the walking challenge. We're challenging you to keep track of how much walking you'll, you'll do this week. Keep track of that. There'll be awards that are, that'll be passed out. And joining us this year from the Office of the Surgeon General's Performance Triad Team is Major Joanna Underwood. If you see Major Underwood out and about, be sure to ask her about the Performance Triad and how you can improve your health, resilience, and readiness for you and your organization. Let me introduce uh, a, a couple of a very special guests, uh, the, the Army's outstanding soldier athletes who have distinguished themselves on the fields of competition. They'll be with us throughout the symposium They'll be officially recognized uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, but with us uh, this morning, the Army Male Athlete of the Year, Sergeant First Class David Moore from 2nd Cavalry Regiment, Graf Navier, Germany. The Army Female Athlete of the Year, Sergeant Latoya Marshall from the Wilmington, North Carolina Recruiting Company. And the Army Coach of the Year, Captain Jeffrey Fearing, Company Tactical Officer at the United States Military Academy at West Point. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and let us offer your, our congratulations. That's Army strong. They'll be in, uh, in booth 239 in the South Exhibit Hall. They'll be signing autographs, and you can ask them about uh, their exploits and accomplishments and achievements uh, throughout the, the symposium. 